our live class. My name is Mrs. Stanley. This is Mrs. Stanley here to join us, and this is Carlos. And this is our very first live color belt class um, during this time frame. And so I just want to address that um, this challenge that we're all facing right now. And we are uh, three of us are leaders of this club. Mrs. K is our president, and um, obviously Master Stanley, our master instructor, and myself, executive director and coach. And we strive to build great leaders here at Phoenix. And our mindset when you're building a great leader or becoming a great leader, we can't be focused on what we can't do. We must be focused on what we can do. And so what we're gonna do here at Phoenix is come to you every week, Tuesdays and Thursdays for regular training class, and uh, Mondays and Wednesdays, Wednesdays for Shadow Warriors, and we're gonna meet you, because that's what we can do. We can meet you in your living room through this beautiful platform called social media on Facebook, so thank you Facebook for allowing this to be a thing, and we're gonna continue training, because that's what we can do. So I really appreciate on behalf of all of us um, and the leadership team at Phoenix that you're continuing to support our club, to train at home, and we're gonna get through this together as a community. So, we're gonna bow in, so if you guys can face my Stanley. All right, guys, uh, today the focus for the week is set sparring, so semi-free sparring, three-step sparring, stuff like that. Uh, we're going to be doing that, but first we're going to touch on a couple of patterns. And here's how we're going to work it. We're going to be doing a white belt, yellow strike, yellow belt patterns and exercises. Um, one person's going to be doing one exercise, and the other person's going to be doing the other exercise. So if you're a white belt, what I want you to do is focus on whoever's doing four direction punch. If you're a yellow strike, focus on whoever is doing the pattern chun and chi. And keep practicing and keep watching so that, that person. So try not to watch the other one that's doing a more senior pattern. All right, so we're going to start. How about we get you to do four direction punch? Ultimately, you're going to be doing chun chi, but not just yet. All right, so four direction punch. Um, white belts, if you're memorizing or learning it, do, do the best you can and watch as we go. I am going to point out a couple things, a couple um, corrections that you want to watch out for, some things that are happening. So we're going to do this right now. Okay, first move, one move at a time. Ready? One. So as you do your first technique, you have to remember that the left arm still has to create reaction force. So if you go back to parallel steps. I want you to leave the left arm below, okay? Don't use it. So, as you punch, one arm punch is no good. So, what I need you to do is initially lift up your left arm and then step and punch. When you're crossing your arms, the hand on your hip is going to do the next technique. You're going to cross on top. Go ahead and cross and do the next move. Boom. All right? So, she's going to continue doing this exercise. I want you to watch out for pre-action and reaction which is this arm lifting up, a little higher, there you go, and the crossing, so on top. So you keep doing that, do both sides, and then you do it a second time. Okay. White belts, pay attention over here. Yellow stripes, we're gonna do pattern chun jina. Parallel steps. Every pattern, every move, sorry, starts with movement in the opposite direction. You go ahead and do four different okay. um, Watch Mrs. Stanley's left foot as she does the first move in chun jina. It's coming in this way, then she steps out and does the technique. Now, similar to the four direction punch, this left arm has to lift up pre action and then come back for reaction for the punch. 180 degree turn, pattern chun G, when your right hand is out, you turn to the right, all the way around, follow it up with a punch. Left side, left arm, you're going to the left and turn it. You continue doing chun G. We do seven okay. So white belt, your second exercise is four direction block, sajumaki. What we're gonna be doing right now is the low knife hand block as you step backwards. Four direction punch and four direction block both start with the right foot, but four direction punch, you step forward. Four direction block, you step backwards. The crossing is the same. The second technique is a middle inner forearm block. Now I want you to just try to get the crossing. The hand that's going to do the block goes underneath the knife hand. You still have to lift it all up to above shoulder height, and then you can actually keep the technique. All right, so watch out for the crossings. They change. 
You give me the neck block on top and then underneath. So work on that. Good enough for Chen Ji. We're going to go to Dan Yoon. So yellow belt. Or a lot all the way there. Dan Yoon, yellow belt. Parallel red stands. Knife hand guard. Now, a lot of times people are just going to take these hands and kind of throw them out that way. But again, you need to start with a pre action. Movement in the opposite direction. These hands are coming out towards me, then they go that way. Perfect. All punches in Dan Yoon are high punches. I want to show you something about the walking stance. And this is going to apply in all the exercises that have walking stances. Let's just down there. Can you do a walking stance towards me, please? We're going to do Dan Yoon in a second, but I want to show you something. The front of the kneecap should be in line with the back of the heel. And you can tell sometimes with this pant leg. Let me bring the knee forward. See how the pant leg is way out over here? That means the knee is too far. Now, usually it's not this bad, but go ahead, poke out, poke out. You can see how it lays back more on her foot here when her knee is in the proper position. So black belts, when you're judging patterns, you can look for this when they're sideways to you. You can look for that. Okay, can you do the pattern down here? Yeah. You can take a break. Just stay here. <laughs> Go. Oh, yeah. Remember, all punches in Dan Yoon are high. I'm stuck. Here. A lot of people have been asking, what, what is this block? What's going on here? Well, you've got two opponents. You've got one in front of you. You're doing an outer forearm block. It's a middle block. And then you've got your rising block. So you've got two guys, two bad guys standing side by side. One's punching or something like that. And one's striking like this. And you're blocking them at the same time. Go ahead. Go ahead. This action, the low block and the rising block, are done in continuous motion. That means you're just you're not hesitating between one and you're doing the other one right away. You have to do full sine wave for both, full breath for both, full techniques. So they're, they're separate moves, but they're done a little bit quicker uh, between the moves. Go ahead, three more rising blocks. So remember with semi-free sparring, ladies, if you could uh, turn a little bit to this side, maybe. The semi-free sparring is at the command of the instructor, uh, unless you're a higher level. But for white belts, we command it. So when we say semi-free sparring, chun bi, you go to your starting yeah. position. Now keep in mind, a lot of people think chun bi means go to a parallel ready stance. That's incorrect. Chun bi means go to the starting position for the exercise you're about to do. For instance, the pattern Wan Yo starts in a closed ready stance, A position. That would be the Chun B for Wan Yo. So we would say Wan Yo Tol, Chun B, and you would do this. This is the Chun B for semi free sparring. The attacker gets to do any three attacks, taking a step on each attack. For the white belts, defenders are going to just keep your hands up, just like in free sparring. There's a higher level of uh, semi free sparring where you actually uh, execute blocks. We're not going to do that. We're just going to keep our hands up for a guard. So ladies, you can go ahead and start. Kia. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And she goes. Go ahead and tell yeah. And fuck shut. So the defender, after the three blocks, her guard, sorry, gets to do one retaliation, and that retaliation is done with a Kia. As soon as that Kia happens, that ends the sequence. Both people should come up to a parallel ready stance, waiting for the command to start again. And we'll go the other way. Semi free sparring, to me. Yeah. We're going this way now. See you talk. Yeah. Both come up to parallel stance. Awesome. You stay there. We're going to move up to yellow strike and yellow belt. The exercise is called three step sparring. In Phoenix, we have four different ones. But. The rules for three step are the same. First, you have to check distance. You do that with your right foot. You need the attack to resist down there. You step in with your right foot so that your foot is beside your partner's foot. Let's do it the other way. Mrs. Cardinal, let's you check. So, right foot is beside your partner, not toe to toe. 
You have to be side by side with the feet, all right? Okay, come back and check the other way. Once you've checked distance, one walking stance away, you go back to parallel stance, then you go to your starting position, yeah. to B position. It's a low block in a walking stance. You do a nice left key up. When your partner is ready to do the block, they key up and you do the exercise. Three attacks, and they're gonna be the same attacks, and three blocks. We're gonna do number one, which is a middle punch from this side, and a middle leg hand block yeah. from this side. Number one, 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 one. Number one. Oh, number one, sorry. <laughs> That's number two. Number one, middle inner form. Go. Go! And a retaliation again with the key up. But this time, it's not anything you want. It is specifically a middle punch. And then you both move this way, you check distance and attack. Mr. Scarto, let's go ahead. Starting position. Up now we're going to do two step sparring. <laughs> two step sparring is similar to three step. Instead of three steps, it's two steps. We're also going to be alternating hand, foot, or foot, hand for the attacks. So they're not going to, it wouldn't be two punches, for instance. So we're going to do uh, two step sparring number one. We still check distance the same. This is okay. Exact same rules, exact same procedure. We go back to an L stance forearm guarding block with the key up. The attack on this one is a middle punch, and the defense for the first technique, sorry, middle punch, and this one is a middle leg and starting block. I think I was thinking ahead to two-step. But then we're going to do a kick. So what's going to happen is Mrs. Stan is going to do a punch with one step, and then a kick completing a second step. We'll, we'll show it to you and we'll let you watch. Go ahead. to allow the attacker to go to a, it's called a walking ready stance. It's blocking your hands to the side. Are there any questions coming up? Nothing yet? By the way, I don't know if you mentioned this, but if you have the ability to ask questions, go ahead and ask questions. We have a monitor uh, and uh, we, we can answer your questions for you on, on anything. Even if it's not the level, like if you're a blue belt and you're looking for something uh, higher that we're not exactly doing, go ahead and ask us. All right, uh, and we are moving up now. So that was two step. We're now going to one step. You ready in the middle, please? One step sparring, we don't check distance. All right, you're just gonna eyeball it. So that means if the attack is, for instance, a, a flying punch, you're not gonna strike this close. You're gonna start further back. So you're the attacker. She knows she's what, she, what to do is the defender tells her what to do. So let's do a flying punch. Tell her to do a flying punch. <laughs> Back up a little bit more. <laughs> We're gonna need some more space here, right? So a flying punch, you can see they, they just got a little bit farther apart. Now it's not her job to do that, she's the attacker. She's just gonna stay there. The defender is gonna judge the distance for what the attack is. Now they both start to parallel ready stance. This is the chun B for this exercise. When the attacker is ready to do the attack, a flying punch, they key up. Yeah. When the defender is ready to do their defense, and it might take them five seconds or 10 seconds or two seconds, they key up, and as soon as they key up, the attacker does the attack. Now when the attacker attacks, the defender must do some sort of dodge, must dodge, block, should block, but there's sometimes you might not block. As long as you're dodging, you may not have to block. And then one retaliation. So there's one attack, one defense, one retaliation. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Question. When are we going to do red belt and black stripe patterns? Uh, probably on Friday night. I think. Oh, Friday night. We'll do red and black on Friday. Night. Yeah, we're going to have a Friday night senior belt class is when we're going to be doing that kind of stuff. But you can still learn from junior level stuff, right? Don't forget that. All right, that was one step sparring. So we've done three step, we've done two step, we've done semi three, we've done we one step. Model. We need to do model sparring. Model sparring is um, almost you can think of it like a, a performance or a little bit of a show off. You still have the attack, but this time, and you don't check distance. The attacker go, starts from a parallel ready, or sorry, from a L stance forearm guarding block. 
Okay? So that's the attack position. Now they don't go to that until they're told what to attack with, right? But that's the starting position. Again, because you're not checking distance physically with your feet or anything like that, you have to judge the distance. Let's do it the other way around. Sure. Let's say if you attack, and you can defend on this one. Now, there's one little thing that's uh, kind of different. With model sparring, you need to perform it in slow motion first. And when we're talking slow motion, that means everything, even the guard, the start position, the chin beat position, the whole bit. All right, so let's just do a simple middle class. All right, okay, so you're attacking, you're gonna tell her what to do, and then execute your techniques. All right, from your elbow starting block, step forward uh, with a middle punch into a right foot. Sorry, uh, do a middle punch right hand and a right block. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So slow motion guard here. Slow motion attack, slow motion defense. Now the, de the, de well, the defense is Mrs. Stanley's choice. This is created by her. Now they come back up, and now they do the whole thing, the same thing, fast motion, the regular motion. Real, real fast. Oh, question? Is this your question? Yep. What do we got? What are we gonna do with testing? <laughs> we're still trying to figure that out. I was gonna wait till you're done. No, 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 no. <laughs> but it'll be more so. I think. Um, the question was, when are we gonna have a test it? Well, I have to figure out how we can. There's ways. We'll figure it out. We're gonna post that. And, like, if we'd like to obviously see you, but kind of depends on what you're comfortable with. Yeah, we we might do, we might be able to do it like two people at a time or something over a whole yeah. day or. We're, we're going to figure the logistics out. I can't give you a time frame on it. We're kind of waiting for two weeks to see what happens with this, uh, you know, nobody can be together kind of thing. Perhaps in two weeks, we can all get together again and it won't, won't matter. Maybe it's three weeks, maybe it's three months. I don't know. We got to see. Just follow up before I jump in. Um, for those of you guys who are looking for marker strips, though, mm -hmm. um, please, what you can do, and I'll maybe post a link mm -hmm. um, on the Facebook page and on the website, um, you can record yourself. Doing your step sparring or your, you know, right now we probably won't do self defense, but pattern, whatever, and then we can just kind of take a record and then award those stripes accordingly. Say, yep, yeah, that's for, like, good for your stripes. So we'll make it happen. Remember, we gotta remember to do what we can. You just gotta figure the logistics out. Yeah. Give us a few days. <laughs> do you want to see your all overs? Um, fast no, just fast enough. We're normal speed. With model sparring, your retaliations are more than one. So you gotta do two or more. But they have to follow the logical sequence. Alright? Oh, my question. Can you show how to hold a paddle so the parents can practice kids Absolutely. kicks? With your hand. <laughs> when you're holding a paddle, it depends on what the techniques are coming at you are a little bit. Um, a normal grip, just like that, a normal grip like that for a front snap kick maybe. And sideways so they hit the paddle. Now with the front kick, you want to tip it a little bit. You want it flat, but certainly this way. You never want to have anybody kick the edges. It's always the front, the pad itself. Axe kick is probably the trickier one. Axe kick. A lot of people hold like this, and that, that can hurt your wrist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to hold like this, and again, never hold the paddles in front of you. Like front kick, I, I don't do this. It's, it's off to the side. Axe kick, it's not going to be here like this. Axe kick's coming through. I'm going to be off and kicks over there. Um, turning kick. This way the kick is going that way so I'm not in any jeopardy. Uh, side piercing kick. If you're using a paddle, the side kick is a very strong kick, but you can still use a paddle for targeting purposes. This would be great for breaking boards or something like that. So make sure you hit the target. For instance, if this is standing, it's kicking down here, the paddle's up here. She's missing the target, right? So she wants to aim at it. Okay? Hook kicks. Same kind of thing, hitting with the heel on the hook kick. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so again, whichever way the kick is going, the holder shouldn't be in that spot. So again, hook kick, I'm not gonna stand here, the kick comes through to me, right? Um, that's the general way to hold it, right there like that. Axe kicks, like that. You don't want it totally flat on an axe kick, and you don't want it totally straight up and down. About a 45 degree angle for the axe kicks. And do be careful, guys. Remember, especially with the axe kick, if you go beyond the flexibility of the kicker, if I'm holding here and they're trying to kick really, really, really high, the other leg might come out yeah. and they fall down. So you always want to start, let's just pretend I don't know her flexibility that well, and there she goes. I go, oh, she was up a lot higher. Okay, 
way so we can move it higher this way. Ah, oh, I can still go to about here. Like that. <laughs> and there you go. Hit me in the face. So there you go. That's how you hold paddles. For those of you guys who don't have a paddle, uh, we do have a few of these Spider-Man and Captain America ones available for sale. Um, if you want, you can also um, sign out a paddle and then um, take it home for a few days and come back. You can also use your paddle rolls for a bonker. Uh, if you want to practice driving blocks, low blocks, um, soft, long, so practice your crossings. It's a great time to practice crossing on them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I got a question. Are all of these sparring two people? It's all two oh, person yes. sparring? You can actually yeah. do it on your own. So if you don't have a partner, mm -hmm. you can go through the whole thing, you know, whatever, and do it, and then now you change roles and then pretend to be the defender. So if you were to send in a video of you doing sex but you don't have a partner, you would just do both roles, every piece. It's, in effect, it's like a real mini pattern. So you get three, three moves, four moves, um, and you memorize the attacker's pattern moves and then the defender's as well. Then when it comes time to actually work with the partner, you know your role, you know what the moves are supposed to be at that time. I think we're, uh, we're at our 20 minutes. Yeah, anybody else have any questions really quick? No, you can also continue to comment on this video. Please share it with all your people. We're gonna upload it as fast as we can to the Dojang TV. And what I'm gonna do uh, tonight if I have extra time is I'm gonna um, put a section on our website that's gonna be all our live classes and our scheduled live classes. So our schedule right now, at least for the next couple weeks, is Tuesday, Thursdays is this class, um, so color belt ish um, Monday, Wednesday, Shadow Warriors, and then Friday nights will be um, uh, red and black for senior stuff. Uh, you're welcome to join in, of course, anytime you learn something cool. Um, but we really want to encourage you guys to keep training, keep kicking like Master Stanley always says, because it's m more important now than ever to come together as a community and to keep active. You know, we, want, we don't want to be stuck inside and not doing anything, not practicing. It has a real effect on here, all right? So everything is pretty easy. And here, yeah, we want to make guys to know it's so important. Our, our headspace is really important. You know, this is where our adult spirit is going to be really te tested. And so we're going to show up for you guys here uh, every week to make sure that you guys continue training. And we just ask that you guys tune in. Please post pictures of you guys, uh, videos, um, and, you know, give us, if you can, give us permission to post those again because we want to continue the club spirit through our online community until we can all get back in the dojo. And if you didn't notice, you're in the new dojo, and this place is, uh, we're, we're almost ready, almost, like, you know, we all have to do, but, uh, <laughs> we're we're almost ready. but we, you know, but now we have time to do it, I guess. <laughs> all right, so when you come back, we will be in the new gym um, for St. Hour at least, and then hopefully uh, everybody else will be up and running really, really quick. So, thanks for joining us, let's follow us but guys, remember, if you do your pattern every day, the memory of the pattern will stay with you. If you forget about it for two weeks and you come back to class in three weeks, whatever it is, you'll probably have forgotten your pattern, especially your, your, your senior pattern. So do it every day. You've got the time, I think. We all have the time. Don't forget, Kwan Jim K, King A. Good job, guys. Keep practicing. That's time.